guys, welcome back to Storytime. My name is Miss Jennifer and today we'll be talking about snow and cold weather. All right, before we get started, let's get our books out. Ready? One, two, three, and clap. And we're just going to move our thumbs and we're going to open and close, open and close our hands like we're reading a book. You ready? The more we read together, 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 the more we read together, the happier we'll be. Because my books are your books and your books are my books. The more we read together, the happier we'll be. Good job, friends. And show me your 10 little snowflakes. Ready? One little, two little, three little snowflakes. Four little, five little, six little snowflakes. Seven little, eight little, nine little snowflakes. Ten little snowflakes. Again. Ready? One little, two little, three little snowflakes. Four little, five little, six little snowflakes. Seven little, eight little, nine little snowflakes. Ten little snowflakes. Backwards. Ten little, nine little, eight little snowflakes. Seven little, six little, five little snowflakes. Four little, three little, two little snowflakes. One little snowflake. That's it. Now, friends, have you ever built a snowman? Would you like to build a snowman with me? You would? Great. All right, I'm a little rusty and need some help. I have some snowballs here. Are they ready for a snowman? No. Let's see, I have two big ones and a little one. The little one should be the head. I think so too. Hear me. There's his bottom. He needs a tummy. There it is. And a head. He's looking good. All right, is he done? No. What does he need? He needs some eyes. Okay. I have two blue buttons for eyes. Should, do they go down here? No. Oh, up here, on our face. Okay, very nice. Let's see. I have this carrot. Where should the carrot go? Should it be like a unicorn? No. Oh, right, a nose. He needs a nose. That looks good. All right. Let's see, I have some coal. Oh, he needs buttons, right? Oh, that sounds good. Let's see. Do I have any more coal? I do. He's missing something on his face. What does he need? A mouth. Right. Oops. One more. There we go. That looks great. Is he done? No. Hmm. Well, I have these sticks. What can we do with the sticks? Arms? Okay. Stay on there, sticks. All right. There we go. Is he done? Oh. oh, I have a scarf. Where do you wear your scarf? Do you wear it on your head? No, this one wouldn't work on our head. How about around our neck? Oh, that's a good idea. Here we go. Very nice. He looks a little cold. Do you think he could use a hat? Where's your hat go? Okay, here we go. All right, we have our hat, we have our scarf, we have our buttons. Do you wear mittens when you go outside? That's a good idea. Let's give him some mittens. Oh, here we go. Very nice. I think he loves it. We built a very happy snowman. He has his hat and scarves and mittens. Good job, friends. I think you've done this before. All right, now that we have our snowman, built, we could talk about Jack Frost. And this book is called, Here Comes Jack Frost. Oh, 
Once there was a boy who lived in a house in the woods. It was winter and all of his friends were hibernating. That means that they were sleeping. I hate winter, he sighed. But then one morning, strange patterns appeared on the window. Do you see the patterns? These white swirls. The boy ran outside and saw a white figure covering his house with frost and ice. Do you see it? Oh, here he is. Who are you? asked the boy. I'm Jack Frost, replied the figure. And he ran into the woods. Wait, cried the boy, and he chased off after him. You can't catch me, laughed Jack Frost. You can jump over the pond. But the boy had skates. Have you gone ice skating before? Well, it's fun. You can't catch me, cried Jack Frost. You can't jump over the hill. But the boy had a sled. Do you like to go sledding? Oh, that's so much fun too. Jack Frost threw a snowball at the boy, and he threw one back, and another, and another. It was fun. Will you stay and play with me, asked the boy. Yes, smiled Jack Frost, but never mention anything warm in front of me. That would break the spell and force me to leave. But now there are so many things that we can do. And they're going to go play. I know, said the boy, let's build snowmen. And they built three so that they wouldn't feel lonely. Do you see them? One, two, three. All winter, the boy was careful not to mention anything warm until one day. They were playing hide and seek in the woods when the boy found something. It was a snowdrop. Look, Jack Frost, said the boy, it's almost spring. But Jack Frost was no longer there. The spell was broken. But in the wind that went through the woods, the boy was sure he heard a whisper, see you next winter. The end. Oh, that's so fun. All right, well friends, it's time to say goodbye. I'll see you next time for more fun. And let's sing if you're happy and you know it. Ready? We're going to clap our hands. Clap, clap. We'll stomp our feet. Stomp, stomp. And we'll say hooray. Ready? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Clap, clap. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Clap, clap. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Clap. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet, stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet, stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet, stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, say hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, say hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, say hooray, hooray. Bye friends, we'll see you soon.